My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. Earlier today, I woke up to this. And then I checked them all and all of them got canceled. It's limited. I might go for a couple. We made a bunch of sales on stadium goods recently. Now most of these are the things that I shipped out. So I am very happy that those sold. LeBrons are going to be dropping in about 20 minutes. I don't really care about this shoe too much. I'm just messing around trying some stuff. So my setup is a bit weird. It's not really what I would usually do during a normal drop, but I will be going for the bigger sizes. Like I said, I don't care too much about these shoes. If I don't get them, it's not a big deal. But otherwise I did hear it was quite limited and that the bigger sizes are going for money. Will I get any of them? We're about to find out. Check in, check in. Got one, got two. Got three. A little bad. Yeah, good sizes. The LeBron release went super duper well. To be honest, I was initially just going to pass up on it altogether, but then Elvin messaged me. He's a staff member in only F and F. He said, dude, go for it, go for the bigger sizes. So that's what pushed me over the edge to try and go for them. And the prices right now are looking super duper nice. So shout out to Elvin for telling me to go for that release. Anyways, we did get another Jordan 1 in the mail today, this time in a size 6.5Y. If I'm not mistaken, a bunch more of these are gonna be coming in the mail today. So hopefully we can unbox them later. Seven Royal Toes came in. These are all GS sizes. And I also hit another one on finish line in a size 14 men. That's probably the worst size. However, it's still profitable. So nothing to complain about there. We also have the CDG Dunks. We got it in a size 10 women's. Let's see what it looks like. Here it is. I mean, I guess it's cool. Can you see through it? Yes, you can. See my hands over there. It's interesting to say the least. Yes, from afar it does look pretty cool, but otherwise not that crazy about it. All right, it's happening. Champs just put out a tweet saying that they're going to be restocking GS and men's sizes in the Royal Toes. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. However, I do have to admit, Champs does have a tendency of tweeting out restock times and dates and having it be totally inaccurate. So unfortunately, we're just gonna have to take their tweet with a grain of salt. I do believe they're going to restock. The question is when? Because they said this afternoon and it's already 12.23 p.m. in the afternoon on the east coast anyway so hopefully today uh because it would suck if i just waited in front of my computer the whole day and nothing happened like, hello hello girl what's your number got a lot of missed calls in my slumber wait get a bike i'll be balling it's been a ride kind of chain it's a bomb and i'm cardi i'll be speaking save me fucking geek it rapping on my own on this table save me tweak it bird berry on a bird dude i'm here so high school girl you don't even know me holy shit Dude, are you seeing this right now? I can't stop checking out. It's still going, it's going in 
going and going Dude, I'm frozen right now. I don't even know what's going on. Hello, hello girl, what's your number? Got a lot of missed calls in my slumber. Wait, get a bike, I'll be falling. It's been a ride, kind of chain, it's a bomb. Oh my god, dude, I'm freaking out. All the stables in between kids. Burberry on a boat like a mosey. High school girl, you don't even know me. Dude, I'm. Oh my gosh, it's more. There's more, there's more. It's Keep on going. Oh, I can't even talk. I'm freaking out. I just hit like a bunch on foot action. Oh my gosh. I thought I was only hitting kids foot locker. Foot action was doing work. This is freaking amazing. Dude, Kodai is holding it down for me. Honestly. Let's go for luck. More. I hope I caught my size too. Another one, another one. Oh my god, dude. It won't stop, it won't stop. Keep it going, keep it going. Oh my gosh, declined. I'm getting declines now because I'm running out of money. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, that foot sites restock went so so well for me after everything was said and done i checked my kodai hub which was the only bot i checked out with by the way and i ended up with a total of 79 checkouts this has been my record for the most checkouts in a single drop my previous record was about 40 checkouts and this has almost doubled that. And I believe 70 to 80% of these, maybe even higher, 70 to 80% of these are GS sizes. I made one very, very, very crucial mistake that I think would have gotten me to over 100 checkouts. Essentially, when I was making my tasks on Kodai, I was copying and pasting the SKU onto the bot. When I was copying the SKU for champs, I must have missed the very last digit of the SKU. And it was no wonder why my bot wasn't picking up. It wasn't because of the proxies. It wasn't because of the bot. It was because I literally had the wrong SKU there. What? Had I not made that crucial mistake, I feel like I could have gotten over 100 checkouts. Now, checkouts are really cool. It's really cool to flex and everything. Yeah, I'm a good guy, whatever. No, I'm not. Let's see how much will actually ship out and arrive at my doorstep. So here is the update so far. I have 47 email confirmations and 10 cancellations. Now, before all of this, I know all you guys saw was the checkouts and everything was going great, but what wasn't on camera is how many hours I took in order for me to try and minimize my cancel rate as much as possible by fixing my billing profiles. I am expecting a significantly less amount of cancellations this time, well, as far as emails to cancellation ratio. Even if I only got half of the 47 emails, then that would still be a really, really big W. But as always with foot sites, you just never know. You just have to wait and hope that pairs will arrive at your door. Anyways, I did sell a couple of items. These are just things that I'm trying to get rid of. To be honest, I'm trying to make as much room as possible uh, for the new inventory coming in, if they do come in because I'm starting to run out of room. I've explained many times before that botting can cost up to hundreds if not thousands of dollars to get into. And even then, success is not guaranteed. However, if you're interested in giving it a try without breaking the bank, you can do so by renting a bot. 
Our sponsor for today's video, Splashstation, makes bot rentals easy, safe, and simple. Not only do they provide very good prices, which gives you access to some of the best bots in the market, but each rental comes with complimentary services such as bot setup guides, release information, and a team of experts to help you with any questions that you may have about your bot rental. The entire process uses the Splashstation Discord server, which is 100% free to join. The invite link to join the server is in the description. When you're ready to rent out a bot for any of the future releases, you can head on over to the request a rental section. Opening a ticket by reacting with a robot emoji, then pick which bot you want to rent out and from there it is very straightforward. Also mention that you want to use the discount code BOTTERBOYNOVA so that you can save 5% off on any of the rentals. Once you've made the payment, you will get access to the bot along with the other complimentary services to further increase your chances of success. Surely a lot of you guys who want to give botting a try will find this very useful. And who knows, you might even be able to turn these rentals into big profits. Earlier today, I dropped off my sales. Also, I'm going to be preparing another batch of shoes that will go out to stadium goods. So far, my experience shipping out to stadium goods has been smooth for the most part. I still have my Air Max 90s that got rejected on stadium goods and they haven't gotten back to me yet as to how I'm supposed to retrieve it. But I do think that's a one-off simply because that was a damaged box. So for the other shoes that I've been sending over and that have boxes that are in good condition, I never really have any problems with that as of yet anyway. Some of the shoes in this batch is a little bit more expensive, so I really have to hope and pray that nothing bad happens to them. Anyways, tomorrow we have Supreme and we also have Dunks. Not too long after that, we have another pair of Dunks. Lots of very, very important releases coming up. We'll see how we end up doing on the next episode.